What's poppin' y'all? Welcome back to my channel. Um, today we will be doing my hair. I know like a lot of people have been seeing those like Alicia Keys braids and today that's what I want to attempt. So I have my hair. I'm going to be doing it in burgundy. And honestly, I don't even know if this is going to be enough hair, but we're just going to pray that it will be. Um, I will be using these beads. I think these are really cute. I really want to do the bead look. I've been feeding. We'll be using some shining jam. Hopefully that's clear. If it's not, oh freaking well. And I'll also be using this shining jam foam. Let's get right into it. So I'm just gonna start off by parting my hair. And I'm literally just gonna put like part it straight down the middle. I just want this style to last me two weeks. My birthday is basically in two weeks. Wait, is it in two weeks? Hold on. It is. So yeah, my birthday is basically in two weeks. So I just want something cute just for two weeks until I get my hair done for my birthday. And I'm literally just going to start in the middle. And I'm going to focus on these, these sides. And then I'm going to go to the sides. Took out a little bit of edges and I'm not even about to say they baby hairs. They're not about to come for me and be like those are adult hairs because they are. This is gonna be the first part that I'm gonna start with. Love the fresh shine again. Okay. Basically slick it down a little bit. Obviously my hair is not burgundy, so it's gonna be like a mix, like a black, well not black, so my hair is not exactly black, but it's gonna be a blend. I lay off knowledge just because it's my own hair and I, I'm not bringing it so tight to the point like where it hurts at the bottom like but if I was doing someone else's hair I would definitely do a, a like two layers of knowledge plus I'm, I'm crunching for time I just want my hair done respectfully all right so so far I have three braids done and now I'm taking a break because I'm hungry I think after these three I'm just going to curve these. I'm not trying to do too many braids. I just want to do something that will last me two weeks. Like, So I'm not about to do too much. I think this could probably just be like maybe four braids. Really six, but maybe four. And then I'm going to do the other side. I am literally almost done. I have two more. I know I'm dealing with three kids in my home. Love is so blind, it feels right when it's wrong. Now that it's over, stop calling me. Come pick up your clothes. You need to front like you're still with me. All your homies know. Even your very best friend tried to warn me. Some time. 
finished braiding um, and I did the hot water and I did the mousse, I added the mousse and I'm currently doing my edges and clearly I did my makeup. Yeah, so I'm about to just mix them up, see where it goes and then I'll show y'all when I'm done adding the beads. Y'all, right, so I just finished adding all of the beads. I'm feeling the vibes, but yeah, there's just one more thing to do. I'm about to use a needle and thread, and I'm going to sew the back together. Um, just because I don't like how it looks, just a little gappy. Like, I don't want it to look so gappy, I just want them to like stay in that like together position so yeah and it's being a little stubborn right now all right so i got it through i'm definitely not gonna need all this but it's better to have more than less like obviously like you can cut it but if you don't have enough like you're gonna have to redo the whole thing so this is definitely like way longer than i'm gonna need it but like i said before i can cut it and i can add another knot at the other end that's gonna really be made after and be careful not to poke yourself if you do do this it's not entirely necessary but if you're experiencing like those little gaps in between your braids this is like an easy way to like an easy way to change fix that so then like over here I'm gonna use this I'm gonna cut down here a little longer than I need right now just because I want to be able to grip the knot I'm going to literally split it and tie a knot tie another one just make sure it's tight and they're all the way you want them to be uniform and then I'm gonna go and do it not like the circular way as well Get it where I want it to be, but oh, yeah, it did. Okay, it's good. So, yeah, obviously, you just want to really make sure it's secured. Like, well, oh, I just knotted my hair. Ow. Okay, so yeah, so basically, that's that. Now they're together, like, they're not so loose. So, now I'm gonna cut really close because you don't want. You don't want the knot to show. Obviously, if somebody is that close in your head and they can see the knot, like, they just need to back up. Because you should never be that close where you could see the knot from the thread in my head. But it's obviously going to be there. But um, I think, like, obviously, if your hair is black, it's obviously going to blend a little bit more. But, yeah, y'all. This is the final look. Tell me what y'all think in the comments.